Hi, this is Ian at Diversified Computers. Today I wanted to show you how to set up a Time Machine backup. Time Machine is a really great program that allows you to make a automatic and complete backup of your whole computer. Just in case anything should happen to your computer, you won't be worried about losing your files because they'll all be on your backup hard drive. Time Machine comes pre-installed on any new Mac computer, so you've already have the software component, you just need a piece of hardware to back up onto. So you go out and you purchase yourself an external hard drive. I always want the external hard drive to be at least the size of the internal hard drive, so that even if it gets full, you know you can back everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my external hard drive to my computer. And it should appear under devices here with Macintosh hard drive. Alright, there it is. And now I'm going to go to Time Machine. The easiest way to access Time Machine is actually this clock icon up by the menu bar. It looks like a clock with an arrow going around it. And right now you see it says that Time Machine is not configured. So let's see if we can change that. I'll just open Time Machine Preferences. And it asks me to select the backup disk. I only have one hard drive plugged into my computer, so that's the only option I've got. I am select my hard drive and say, use disk. Am I sure that I want to erase this backup disk? I mean, most of the time this is going to be a brand new hard drive that you bought and there's not going to be anything on it. But just make sure that you don't have any old data on this hard drive that you would not want to lose. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and erase the disk. Sometimes a disk will be the wrong format for Time Machine, and Time Machine will ask you if you'd like to reformat the disk, and you just say, sure, go ahead. Now that I've erased the disk, and it knows which hard drive I'd like to back up onto, it's already counting down. The next backup will be in 109 seconds. But I can prompt it to do it right now. I'll just click back on the Time Machine icon and say, backup now. Now this part will take a long time. The first time that you do it, it needs to back up everything on your computer. So that could take hours depending on how much you have. After that, it's very quick. It, it backs up every hour, but it does so without getting in your way or slowing you down because it checks to see what's changed in the last hour, which is usually only a handful of files. So it happens very quickly in the background. The only way you would know that it's backing up is you'll see that the clock icon is spinning around. And that's it. We've just set up a time machine backup just let it do its thing. Don't interrupt it during the first backup. Make sure that the if you have a laptop that the battery is plugged into the wall. We don't want the battery dying in the middle of a backup. And every now and then you should just check to see how the backup is going. In the future when I click on this icon here, right now it says backing up. But when it's done it will say the last backup was and it will give us a time. So you can check that every now and then. And if you see that the last backup was a long time ago, you know something's going wrong. And then you can look at how to fix it. Until next time, this is Ian at Diversified Computers.